Hi everyone, I hope y'all good. Today we are going to have our second story is part of Halloween half term. Again, I have got my magic mini listening ears on, so I hope you've got yours on too. Today's story from the magic pillow is called Scaredy Mouse. Hopefully we'll get through a full book today without the pages sticking together. But we will see. Are we all ready with our listening ears? Off we go then. In a small hole behind a cupboard under the stairs lived a large family of mice. The youngest was called Squeak. Squeak was a small mouse, a scared mouse, a stay-at-home mouse. One evening, Squeak was woken up by his sister Nibbles. Let's go to the kitchen, she said. I've just seen something yummy, a chocolate cake as big as a wheel. Squeak loved chocolate, but he was very scared. What if I get lost, he worried. What if we meet the big ginger cat with green eyes? The ginger cat's asleep, said Nibbles, and I know how to stop you getting lost. Nibbles fetched a big ball of string and tied one end around Squeak. There, she said, all you have to do is follow the string and you'll find your way home. They scurried out of the mouse hole and into the dark, shadowy hall. Squeak kept close to Nibbles, trailing the string behind him. But they all crossed the hall. Squeak saw a long, stripy tail. <gasps> it's the cat! It's the cat! He cried. Squeak ran this way and that. Hurrum, scurrum, round and back. Don't be silly, said Nibbles. Squeak slowly came out of his hiding place. Through the dining room scampered Nibbles and Squeak under the table and under the chairs. But just as Squeak was about to eat a biscuit crumb, he saw two eyes gleaming in the dark. It's the cat, it's the cat, he cried. Squeak ran this way and that. Hurrum, scurrum, round and back. Don't be silly, said Nibbles. It's only a toy. Squeak smiled nervously. Into the lounge they stole, past the fireplace and past the ticking clock. Suddenly, Squeak froze in his tracks. There, peeping above the arm of the sofa, was a head with two sharp ears. It's the cat, it's the cat, he cried. Squeak ran this way and that way, hurrum and scurrum, round and back. Don't be silly, said Nibbles. It's only a cushion. Silly me, said Squeak. Into the kitchen tiptoed the two mice across the floorboards and past the cupboard. Squeak peeped inside. He shivered and shook. There in the shadow was something furry. It's the cat, it's the cat, he cried. Squeak ran this way and that. Hurrah men scurrum round and back. Don't be silly said Nibbles. It's only a feather duster. Phew, sighed Squeak. Just then Nibbles spotted the chocolate cake on the table. It didn't take them long to find their way up to it. Soon their paws and whiskers were licking and sticky with chocolate. Yum, sighed Nibbles. I could eat all day. Squeak was a hungry mouse but also a worried mouse, a scared mouse, a want-to-go-home mouse. So Nibbles scrambled down the fridge and Squeak and the cake followed. They heaved the cake across the floor, but just as they reached the door, a shadow fell across their path. It's the cat, it's the cat, cried Squeak. Don't be silly, said Nibbles. It's only, uh-oh, the cat, run! Squeak ran this way and that, 
Romans go around round and back. The big ginger cat narrowed his at his eyes, opened his claws and Meek! pounced. But the cat found himself caught in a web of string. The more he struggled, the more he became tangled until soon he was tied up like a fat ginger parcel. A mad cat, a sad cat, a feeling, a full cat. Squeak was no longer a small or a scared mouse. He was as bold as a lion mouse. And the next time he met the big ginger cat, he just said, Boom! <laughs> The end. What another lovely story as part of our Halloween half term. So we've now had two days worth of books that we've shared together and I've had my listening ears on. So I'm hoping everybody's had their Disney listening ears on at home too. When Miss Bill can't find anything scary, she turns herself into Minnie Mouse. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If you can like, share and comment, please. If you could subscribe on the YouTube channel, I would really appreciate that as well. Um, there will be another story tomorrow. It would normally be We Read on Wednesday, but with it being Halloween half term, it will just be the third story we have this week. But I will probably mention We Read on Wednesday as well. Um, have a lovely rest of your day, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. And I'm sure I will probably still have my listening ears on. <laughs> See you later. Bye, everyone.